All right, welcome back, XX Rooter, the gay XX fans. Joining me yet again on my Clash Royale journey, and today I'm going to be using a mid ladder menace deck. If you noticed, the last video was about countering the mid ladder menaces. But hey, you know what they say if you can't beat them, you join them. So I got Mega Knight level 13, Giant Skeleton level 14, some cycle cards in there, and I just, just a Goblin Barrel thrown in as well. You know, why not? Never heard anyone. Right, we're up against Hillet. Looks like he will have Pekka and Dark Goblin in his deck. Because he has level 10 Mastery on both of them. That was a little bit of a misplay on the Mega Knight. I probably should have aimed for the top of the tower, like right over there. Because that way, we would have gotten the most value by killing three instead of two. Or sorry, killing two instead of one goblins. Sorry, I'm a bit focused up on the game here. Not a juke. Ooh, and that's those are some good skeleton placement. That should be able to clean up the P.E.K.K.A. nice and easy. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, I don't want to use my Goblin Barrel yet until I'm at least at 9 Elixir. Because if I do play my Goblin Barrel and then he follows that up right with a dark goblin which i know he has in his deck it's gonna be very punishing for me because i won't be able to counter it <clears throat> it looks like this guy and i are just kind of chilling right now good fireball value and he goes with a barrel and i counter the barrel whoop de doo what a crazy sequence of events Oh, there's a dark album. No hits, no hits. Ah, one hit. Not the end of the world. Now, he could do the two elixir counter, or he'll do the eight elixir counter. You know, they both they both work. They're both counters. I'm not gonna, not gonna judge. I mean, I'm playing Mega Knight, so. I don't know why he would go with a log there. Guess he'll probably just uh, fire spear at that in the end, so it won't matter too much anyway. He's gonna fireball that dark goblin. Uh, this giant skeleton is not gonna get its bomb on tower, but look at how much damage I got from that goblin barrel. Just like that, a huge lead I just took on this guy. Bats should be able to clean that up. Nice. Ooh, Dark Goblin? You know, this could be an opportunity to play Mega Knight. Oh, and that's that should be good log value. No. Alright, we're gonna go with a giant skeleton Mega Knight push. This could be huge. We clean up the princess, so now my bats can get value. Send in a goblin barrel. I'm not gonna go all in. Yeah, I guess. Mm. Not the best in the world, but that giant skeleton bomb is going to clean up. Oh, and it landed in the front. Yes. Huge value. And I play the giant skeleton right behind it. We're going to go with the juke barrel for the first time this match. Hopefully that gets him. Ah, I didn't get him. He's too smart. Nice predicted that barrel. Played the Mega Knight there just so I could get the princess. But now we're almost even in terms of damage. Gonna have to start cycling on the tower. There's one fireball. Ooh, that's gonna be a lot. Okay. And skeleton in front. Fireball that dark goblin. Oh, and the fire spirit. Nice, nice, nice. That's actually huge. Oh, that's huge. Bats on tower. Bats on tower. Come on, bats. Yes. Yes. All right. Hey, that was a pretty good game there. Triple overtime. But hey, we come out on top as usual. 
All right, let's go again. Goblin Barrel first play. This guy is a King level 14, so already starting off on the back foot and already starting off on the front foot with that misplayed Ice Mage. We're going to fireball that. Easy cleanup. Skelly Barrel. All right. This guy might have a real deck. I'm going to have to tank that Firecracker. But it does mean I can probably play Bats behind it now. I don't know what he would have a counter for now. That Lumberjack is dead. Oh, he does have that. But it kept alive two of the Bats. What are you doing, dude? Oh, man. That was a huge pull. I don't know how that pulled. Well-timed log. I am behind in damage a bit by about 200. But I'll go here with a little juke barrel. Hopefully. Alright, not bad, not bad. We do take the lead again, but I am down on Elixir bad. I don't think he knows how expensive my deck is yet, or at least my two tanks are. He's not really capitalizing on it, on it every time that I'm low. And again, this is this is only mid ladder. I'm just gonna play that cannon there preemptively. To hopefully, stop this firecracker. What's that? Oh crap! All right, I just gotta commit here because that tower is probably gone. Ugh! This is not good. My goblins. That's annoying. I think that's just one log, but still, you know, two elixir could have been used somewhere else. You never know. Skelly barrel in the back. Hmm. Probably just Mega Knight this. I don't have log in my cycle. If I played that, wrong. you know what? Forget about it. I think it might actually be more value to uh, get the firecracker with my fireball than it would be to get the other guy, the uh, the ice mage. Two firecrackers now. That, that's kind of all right. Let's clean that up. That's getting a little dangerous over there. I'm just gonna fireball that. Don't want to have to risk anything there. That lumberjack is not going to be able to clean out the giant skeleton. I don't know about that balloon there. It's just going to go to my tower. I feel like balloon pocket. This guy's deck is weird. He's got speedy balloon, but he's like not using it. He's just using lumber loom. All right, I'm going to go with the giant skeleton in the pocket here after the Mega Knight jumps. I'm gonna go with a cheeky goblin barrel. Let's kill those, kill those, come on. No. Well, that should be able to get good value on that. Yes, both, both the ice mage and the fireball. No, 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 no! Aw, oh, damn it, man. Ah, well played, well played. I guess that's how I get my first ever loss. The channel, but you know what they say you can't end on a loss, you cannot end on a loss. If you end on a loss, you're weak and you're stupid. And I am neither of those things, and I'm here to prove it because even though this guy is over level on me, we're gonna start with the trusty old goblin barrel first play, and it's not gonna work for us. That's not the worry, though. I'll just cycle until I can mega knight that. Alright, there we go. <laughs> That's all I was waiting for. Oh, that one bat. Go! No. That is... That's quite the waste of elixir. Hopefully he doesn't have a hog rider. I feel like he might, you know. It is mid-ladder. Playing that cannon there might not have been the smartest play, but... Oh, he's playing Lumber Loon. Some call it Skill Loon. 
I think that is a very funny joke. Because it's gonna give one. How does that get one hit? I mean, I spend bats and a fireball on that. That's a negative elixir trade. It's crazy. It's crazy to me how good Balloon is. How it hasn't received more of a nerf. Because trust me, my kryptonite is facing Lava Loon or Lumber Loon or just any Loon. And now he's got piggies. Oh, that is not the best Dark Goblin. That's actually, that's a very good Mega Knight there. This could actually be big for me. I'm gonna use bats because I trust in this push that much. Come on, get it. Yes! Let's go. I can use Log and a Skarmy. He's got nothing else to challenge it. Oh, he looks, he's down on Elixir. I'm gonna start building up a push here. Pig and I, Giant Skelly. And he's gonna go with a Lumberloon. All right, it's not gonna be the end of the world for me. Only one hit and on the tower that had more HP. Right now, Giant Skeleton? Ooh, yeah, Giant Skeleton, Mega Knight now. Ooh, yeah. Let's kill that balloon. Come on, man. Oh, he uses arrows. Yes. Yes! Our tower's on 94. He can't get it. <laughs> yes! Let's go! I actually beat Lumberloon. Wow. Okay, you know what? In conclusion, the mid-ladder menace deck might be meta. That was that was a great game. If I can get that Mega Knight to level 14, I think I might have a shot at getting all the way past Royal Crypt, Royal Blood, and all the way to 7,500 trophies. Thank you all so much for watching. This was a fun video to record and get that third win. That was a huge one. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of my Clash Royale journey, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Comment if you want to see more of this content. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. XX, Root of the Gay XX, out. Later.